Hello everybody. Today we're going to be replacing the lithium ion battery on a JBL Charge 2 Bluetooth speaker. The tools we're going to need are a razor blade, a plastic prying tool, a miniature screwdriver, Phillips head screwdriver, and a nail file if necessary. We're going to look at the JBL speaker and you're going to notice the JBL plate. And that is the front of your speaker. Where the battery access to the battery is in the back. So we're going to go to the back and access the battery through opening up the speaker cover with the razor blade. You may need to use the pry bar to lift it out at the corners where there are slight openings. You're going to want to watch this video to the end because the speaker is made to be waterproof. So what you see is once you access this is the battery compartment. You're going to see five different screws located on the cover of the compartment. Three, four, five. All you need to do is take your screwdriver and take out the screws or remove the screws. After you remove the screws, you may feel some resistance on removing this battery casing. Notice that when you remove this battery casing, which direction it's facing, so that when you replace this casing, you replace it in the proper order as you lift up. On the casing. Notice that the screw casing has one end and may have some uh, plastic, some glue to the other end. Once all the screws are removed, the casing should pop out easily. The reason I encounter some resistance is because on this particular side of the battery, there is a um, area that's slotted to go in. Once you remove the battery, you're going to see that there is an inside tab that contains the connectors all you have to do is gently pull that out and if you notice the connectors make sure that the replacement battery that you have has the same 
a number of pins as connectors. Once that's removed, there are one more screw on the inside. All you have to do is take that screw, unscrew it, and there's your battery. They're gonna have some pieces of tape to hold the battery from vibrating. All you have to do is remove the tape and gently pry the battery out. Once the battery is out, You take your replacement battery and proceed to put in the new battery. And all it is is making sure that these tabs are going in the right directions so the battery sits nice and flush. Um, also notice that there is a rubber gasket when you re replace all the screws make sure that all these gaskets are all in the right place i'm not going to keep you watching this video when i reinstall the bad new battery when you order the battery you make sure that you order the proper battery, which is a 3.7 volt lithium ion. Thank you everybody for watching my YouTube channel. Have a good day.